I'm Steve with a Z with some exclusive Nissan Z updated information about the engine displacement. If you're wondering what it is because it seems to be a controversy, I can clear it up for you today direct from the source. you by the end of this video I will clear up and tell you definitively what the calculated size or the actual displacement of the Nissan Z motor in the new car is going to be. I have official word on exactly what the displacement is but let me explain the controversy first. First the controversy is is that Nissan's Infiniti Q60 where the new Z got its motor from has a displacement of 2997 cc's or 2997 cc's now a cc is a measurement unit typically used uh, in uh, describing displacement of engines and as you know this is the vr30 ddt engine that it's out of the q60 and the 30 dictates the engine size which is a three liter but there's always a little fudge factor either way but what nissan did is when they released all the official for the new Nissan Z, they published that the actual displacement was 3,042, giving an increase in displacement to the car of 45 cc's. Many of us online started to wonder what the difference really was, because, you know, if you first start thinking about it as a performance enthusiast, you might think, well, maybe the pistons are dished, you know, causing a dish inside the middle of the piston, or perhaps uh, the heads uh, are, are different than... Um, what's on the Infinity model. So maybe there's there the dome of the head uh, the, is different. But when you actually break down what displacement is, that doesn't come into play when you do the math and figure out displacement. Displacement is a very, very specific thing. I should also note that the differences between the engines that were published, uh, or lack thereof differences, it has the same bore and stroke, meaning the size of the cylinder hole and how far up that piston or down that piston or the stroke uh, is going to move in the process of making combustion. So what is engine displacement anyway? What does it mean? Engine displacement is the combined swept volume of the piston inside the cylinder of an engine. And this is all kind of technical, so if you don't want the technical definition of what uh, displacement is, skip to the end of the video when I actually get to the, the yeah. point. But So it's calculated from the bore, which is the diameter of the cylinders, uh, the stroke, the distance the actual piston travels up and down inside that cylinder, and the number of cylinders. Displacement is an important factor as it has a direct impact on the engine's power output, fuel efficiency, and in some countries, how a vehicle's even taxed, which I had no idea about. Um, apparently, in other countries, not the U.S., vehicles can be taxed based on the displacement. And I think that that's why we saw many small Japanese engines in the uh, mid to late 70s and into the 80s that spawned off some of the cars that we love now. So let's talk about the actual stated specs of the Infiniti Q60, which is where we know the VR engine that's powering the new Z was actually taken from. As you can see here, it's a 3-liter V6 twin turbo that puts out 300 horsepower uh, in the smaller, uh, less-tuned version. Or, or in the Red Sport edition, it's a, the same 3-liter V6 twin turbo, 400 horsepower at 2,997 cc's. So here's the Nissan's press release for the new Z car and its engine specs. It's the same listed 3-liter V6 twin turbo, dual overhead cam, um, the block's aluminum, the head's aluminum, and you see there that they listed it's a 3-liter with 3,042 cc's of displacement. So you can see where the discrepancy was. Um, a few hours after this was released, people took to the internet to uh, talk about it and wondered why in the heck um, that was that that was the case. I mean, this gaffe made it all the way out to all of the national press. Everybody reported the CC in any spec sheet. Anybody reported the CC displacement of the engine as they normally would in Motor Trend or Road and Track or whatever. And it literally went flying around the internet that somehow miraculously the new Z um, has more displacement uh, in its engine than um, than the Q60. And I myself wondered if that was the case and how. And I even thought through it. I'm like, well, maybe it's, you know, the, the piston is dished at the top. Maybe the bore of the, uh, the, the top of the cylinder head is larger. But those two things 
uh, would not affect displacement. Displacement only describes the swept area of the piston, meaning if you dish a piston, it doesn't add cc's in terms of displacement. And if you hog out the top of the combustion chamber and the head, it also doesn't add displacement. It may change other characteristics of the engine, but it's not going to change displacement. So the question here was, what did Nissan do? Did they reduce the cylinder wall thickness? No one was really sure until I decided to ask, which is why the news you're about to hear is actually legitimately exclusive. So why nobody picked up on this? I have no idea. This has been reported all over the internet that this increase in displacement. So I just decided to reach out to Nissan, to my contacts, and ask them to confirm it or not. And here's what I got back. Literally, they made a mistake. Somebody printed the wrong number, which is kind of shocking for a major auto manufacturer, but they are entitled to make mistakes. And this Z rollout has been nearly perfect. So, uh, you know, I think they're entitled to it. But what's this argument really about anyway? Like, who really cares? So what? It's got 42 cc's more of displacement or whatever. The thing is, is displacement is horsepower. And it also would indicate that Nissan made internal combustion or internal engine changes that it didn't really describe in detail. So everybody got their hopes up. So online, everybody thought, hey, maybe this car will actually make more power than the Infiniti because honestly, everybody's online bench racing against the Toyota Supra. We want it, we, I, I, I'll raise my hand, want it to be faster than the Supra. That is my goal, hopefully, with this car, that Nissan has given us a product that is faster than, stock for stock, a Toyota Mark V Supra. So when you increase displacement, there could be potentially some things on the inside of the engine that you would also increase along with it. So I think that's what got everybody's hopes up. So sorry to burst the bubble of everyone. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. But as we've talked about here, the displacement is indeed the same as the Q60 Red Sport. The only question mark in my mind now is what turbochargers will be on the car. Are they the exact same turbos or not? It's funny they made a big deal about the turbo speed sensors that they had included that into the Z, but obviously it's in the Infinity. The, the, the sensor has to be there, which honestly, is, that sensor would be nothing more than a hole drilled in the, uh, the frame of the turbo itself uh, with a laser sensor that's, that's reading notches on probably the center section of the turbo. So I'm not sure why that's a big deal. The only other thing that I know of that they confirmed that they added to the new Z is blow-off valves. So now that we know the displacement is exactly the same, I, I really don't look for any other changes, potentially, except maybe the turbo setup. So we'll know soon, but at least we're able to clear this up exclusively for you. In this video here, I actually interview Nissan's Dan Pass immediately after the Z release, and him and I go on a 30-minute tirade about the car. So if you're interested in the new Z, you may want to check that out. Otherwise, you know, if you want the latest and greatest and legit Z information, stay tuned to my channel. Sub, make sure you smash that like button, and I'll see you later. Keep the rubber side down and drive fast, take chances.